Whoops, I gotta push the date thing. Alright. There we go. Today is 628.87. Another typical Seattle, Washington day. About 87 degrees, clear skies, and planes flying over. We're gonna take some pictures of the, some things that we're gonna show you when we get there, naturally. So, hope you enjoy it. And naturally, the first thing we're gonna take a picture of is the most important thing in Seattle to Elena. Hold on. Jackie keeps turning me off. <laughs> Used to be the other way around. Okay, I'm going to do this. You're, it's already on it. It's on it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> See my card? <laughs> okay, we don't usually laugh. This is an exceptional day. It's hot. It gets, <laughs> the heat gets to you. What now, <laughs> this... This car is my anniversary present. First of all, it was a wedding present when we got it. And it was beautiful then. And now it's even prettier because it has a new paint job. Look at the new top. Isn't it cute? It's got new interior, new hubcaps that I got for Christmas, new chrome. It's my baby. Everybody always wants to buy my baby, and I tell them if the price is right. Of course, they don't want to pay my price, so they don't get my car. It's going to go back in the shop when we're on vacation and have pinstriping put on it and be buffed out again so that it's waiting for me when I get home. And I think it will look just wonderful, darling. <laughs> Chuck is now looking through the camera, pretending like... Okay. Chuck wants to know if J.C. and Lois recognize his car. <laughs> of course you will. It's just the same car we used to be, except it's different. Now, we're going to transfer you over here to the yard. We want to show you this great, big, beautiful yard. I'm not ready to go to the yard. Go to the yard. Yeah. I'm... First. Yeah, let's do a zoom. <laughs> How do we zoom? You haven't showed me. Oh. We're going to tee in on the car. <laughs> zoom shot. Okay. One out of focus tee shot. Focus. Now he's focusing. Okay. Getting a better view. <laughs> Chuck told me I'd giggle when I did this, and I said I wouldn't, so I've got to shut up. Okay, you ready for the yard prep? Yeah, we're going to take it off a tripod now. <laughs> so we'll be back. We'll see you later, okay? We'll be right back. Hold on, buddy. Okay. Okay, this is the famous yard that Chucky built. We had this added on so that the people down below that just... We bought it on. We didn't buy it on. We bought it extra. <laughs> we bought it extra on. So that the people down below could not plant trees in front of our view. Take a look at the view. Up, Chuck. <laughs> you got the view in there? Yeah, this is the famous view. It's really actually very pretty. Right now we're looking at the water. Do you see the water? <laughs> I don't see the water either. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Lake Forest Park is directly in front. Lake Forest Park is directly in front. And Lake Washington. And Lake Washington. Uh, See the little cars that look like bugs? Kenmore. That's Kenmore. And we have uh, Bothell here. <laughs> and all the new construction in the foreground. Where well, these houses are sold as quickly as they're built. Now, isn't that a pain? I wish I'd hurry up and get done built. A day for me helping and the next day for Chuck doing, <laughs> which is true. Now he's watering the lawn. Nicole is asleep at the time, thank God. And there's the deck, the famous deck. This was one of Chuck's brighter ideas. He just finished it. And in the process of building it, he lost a wart. <laughs> he hammered it off his finger. Now, 
The next step we're going to take you to. No, we're still on the deck. Chucky likes the deck. Okay. When we were building the deck, we had to countersink each nail, and that's where Chuck lost his wart because he hit his finger a couple of times so hard that he kind of chopped out some skin. And then he took this big sander and he sanded the floor of the deck. And then the guys came out the next weekend, and I filled all those little holes with putty so that Chuck could sand. Then the guys came out the next weekend and they built the railing. So that's one big playpen for Nicole. A mother's dream to let her child outside without having to keep an eye on her continually. 680 square feet. Goodbye for a sec. Okay. Wasn't that fun? Elena's... <laughs> All right. I don't know what you just showed him. Okay, let's go. You keep pushing the button. Okay, what Elaine is showing you right now is uh, we have one, two, three, four foundations on unfinished houses in the cul-de-sac. The cul-de-sac here is... Uh, about three years old. We were the first ones on the top of the hill. And we have a doctor to our left, a doctor to our right, and an Iranian to our back. So, pretty good combination. She wants to get sick and test it out. What are you filming now? Okay, once again, we start off with Elena's car. You think she's very proud of it? I would think so. If you like the color of that, that's off of a 1987 Cadillac. It's called a burgundy metallic candy apple red. It has five coats of color, ten coats of hand rub lacquer. Did a good job. Got a friend that does that. Really likes doing it. Okay, then we'll come around by the deck and end up on the west side of the house. Hottest area naturally in the afternoon, and we had uh, extra windows and everything. The story could last three hours as to the things we went through in building the home, but it's the only home in the subdivision that's like it. Uh, basically, I took one of their floor plans and redesigned it for our needs, and it came out real good. We're real happy here. We'll be real glad when they get done with all of the junk going on about it and everything. You want to walk? And this is our last little new neighbor. As soon as they get that Hummer done, we're all done, we hope. Okay, I don't know where she is right now, but at any rate, we're in the garage. Congratulations. I drive a 1981 Buick Riviera. I've been real happy with it. I'm going to trade it in and get a Mercedes pretty soon, 450SL. Love it. Okay, as we come around, you're <clears throat> looking in front of the house. We don't have... Uh, cable available yet, but it's on its way out. Should be here this summer. Really looking forward to it. We nearly didn't buy out here when we found out that cable wasn't available. It's a three-bedroom, two and three-quarter bath home. The square footage on it is 2186. Lot size on it is 18,750. No problem with mowing the grass, Jerry. All I do is jump on my little snapper and take off piece of cake. Speaking of riding lawnmowers, Lois, I remember an event when you and I got involved in the riding lawnmower. Remember that? Okay, Elena's on the side yard now. All of the shrubs, unfortunately, we had to plant in, and I noticed some brown grass in the yard. I guess I better get busy on that, too. Keeps us both real busy. We're working all during the week. We've got so much to do at home. And then if a client calls or whatever, I'm out of here. So it doesn't give us a whole lot of time to do the things we need. Pat's moving back this uh, summer. As a matter of fact, next weekend. We're really looking forward to that. I'm sure it'll be a big help. Okay, so at any rate, we're going to uh, cut you loose. We'll take some uh, pictures of the inside of the house later. Then I'll show you the view once again. That goes all the way basically from the University District through Lake City. Uh, comes up and hits... Lake Forest Park, then swings around into Kenmore, then off into Bothell. Very nice. It's about a 200-degree view. 
And since we were the first ones on the hill, we weren't even charged with the view because we weren't sure how the house was going to come out. We're real fortunate that the house in front of us didn't obstruct our view either. So we're real happy with everything. And uh, we're going to take some pictures of the inside of the house after I get my wide-angle lens so that you can get a feel for the size of the rooms. And then we're going to go down to Fisherman's Wharf and probably go down to uh, uh, the marina. And then also we're going to go down to the farmer's market downtown. And we'll talk to you when we get there. See you later. Bye. You're going awful fast, Elena. Hi there, guys. Just late in the evening. We never did get downtown tonight. We see some of our favorite sunsets right off of the uh, tip of Lake Washington right there. If you look real hard, you can see the lake. Elena said she never did see it. It's uh, 9.30 in the evening now. And by the time I found the place on the camera, it was uh, just about too late to catch the sunset for you. The sun had already gone over the hill. It's real pretty when you catch them. Just right. At any rate, we're looking forward to coming down there. And we're going to get down to the farmer's market and also uh, oh, we'll probably hit a couple of the terminals and whatnot. We'll take some flicks for you down there. So, good night for now, and we'll catch you next time we turn it on. See you later. Gosh, I better get started here before we run out of daylight. Well, welcome to Seattle, Washington. We're down on the waterfront. We're right at Kenmore, and we're right by the Kenmore Airstrip which uh, naturally is for seaplanes only. This is pretty well what Seattle, Washington is all about. Seattle is surrounded by water and we really enjoy it down here. This is one of the smaller marinas. It's, this is actually uh, located right across from where we built the home. And as I swing across Lake Washington here, you will see come into view shortly a uh, set of condominiums which should be coming up right on your right right about now and swinging right into focus there in the middle of the picture this is a McPherson development as the seaplane lands in front of us kind of neat and uh, this development started about uh, seven or eight years ago and I remember when it started it seemed like nothing would move at all and all of a sudden everything took off and started moving our house is uh, located right straight up from that red buoy that you see there in the foreground up on the hill right behind it uh, as a matter of fact if you look real closely you might even be able to spot it I can see it from here but the only problem with that is I know exactly where to look you see some blue up there I'm gonna shut this off and uh, re-angle this try to get a better angle on it all right, there you go. I think that should be a little bit better. At any rate, that's a McPherson development that was underway, uh, oh, in the area about six years ago, and it just took off, and now everything in the world is sold. I'm going to zoom in on the uh, house, which is right, uh, right up there on top of the hill. It should be right directly in front of that buoy. Uh, what separates the home from Lake Washington is uh, Inglewood Golf Course, which is a private course. And uh, they do real well there, all the little Ingolites. As we pan across the uh, waterfront here, you can see the homes 
right in front of that water skier, for example, those homes start out in value right in the area of uh, approximately half a million dollars for a lesser desirable, shall we say, waterfront home. And the uh, lots themselves, if you can find them, will start at about uh, two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand dollars just for a lot. So they get pretty expensive. At any rate, we'll come on around here. It's really beautiful out here. It's about eight thirty or quarter to nine in the evening. A lot of people fishing on the pier behind me. I don't know if they're catching anything or not. Oops. I don't know what the uh, water temperature would be right now. Probably pretty chilly. As we pan around, uh, what you're looking at now is going to be Bellevue, which is uh, the east side of Mercer Island. Going over there, it's connected by two floating bridges. One's the uh, Lake Washington Floating Bridge, and actually it was the first floating bridge built in the United States. Actually spans the water and floats on pontoons and then opens up in the middle. It's kind of neat. And the other one is the uh, new Evergreen Point Bridge, which is a suspension bridge. So that works pretty well, too. And we'll come around here. Now there's some folks trying their luck on some fishing. I don't know how successful they're being. And maybe we'll find out. Just a beautiful evening out here. Times like this really make you happy to be in Seattle, I'll tell you. Sorry there, I didn't mean to move you quite so quick, I forgot you were on. Along that shoreline is where Bill McPherson, the broker of McPherson Realty, has his home. I've only been there a couple of times, and to be real truthful with you, I can't remember where it is. But there are some beautiful homes right along in through there. Again, they range from a half a million dollars on up. Some young friends trying their luck. pan around here you'll see some traffic in the background and of course that's Bothell Way and that's the street we see right from our house or rather we see the traffic we don't see the street and there's a jogging trail that goes through there it's called the Burke Gilman Trail and it runs all the way from the University District uh, all the way out to uh, Bothell so it's quite a trail And once again, we start off with some condominiums. That's a brand new project. That's really going gun ho And we'll swing back around to the marina where we started. Just for my information, I'm not, not using my uh, polarizing lens, and I'm kind of wondering how this is going to come out. This camera is supposed to do real well in dusk. So I guess we'll both find out together, won't we?
You can see one of the seaplanes there taxiing along and ready for his big takeoff. See how he does here. Guess I better keep track of him. Had a couple of accidents out here lately. Not too cool. I think he's just dinking around. Looks like he's going back in. Water skiers, boy, I know how crazy they are. Remember when I used to water ski? Haven't done any of it since I've been out in Seattle. Kind of miss it a little bit. Used to go to Lake Tobosovki. Go water skiing every day when I was in insurance with a friend of mine. Kind of fun. plane in the background sounds like he's taking off now I guess he just got tired of waiting or something uh, you see him flash by in the picture he'll uh, just be taking off the water just right about now and there he goes onward and upward having a good time it's really fun living around all this water and everything there's just so many things to do Actually, this is my first time down to this park. I go by this pier all the time, and I didn't know whether I could get to it or not. I didn't know whether it was a public pier or a private pier. Kind of nice to know that it's a public pier. I'm going to have to bring <clears throat> Patrick and Nicole and Elena down. So at any rate, it was a great evening, and uh, I just wanted to kind of come down and take some shots for you. I'm not sure when we're going to get down to the farmer's market or get downtown, but we'll make it. Talk to you later. Be good. Bye-bye, buddy. Hi, it's me again. Aha, I thought you got rid of me, didn't you? I want to put this polarizing lens on and see... Uh, if it made any difference in the picture. And I took it off, keep my fat finger out of the way. Uh, try that a minute. All right, well, I'm going to leave it on for a minute and see what, uh, what happens. So we'll catch you later. Bye. Oh, building, I might roll a brand new car, cause I'm